So when a person turns away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it happens gradually. This is the usual process. So in the beginning, a person is completely pious, prays the Hajjah prayers. Now what is going to be the first step of turning away from Allah? He prays the Hajjah prayers, he does his mamulat, he does the tasbihat, he reads the Qur'an, and he prays five times a day. If somebody is doing the Hajjah, he's doing all these other things. So the first step is, then he starts missing the Hajjah. He says, oh, I sleep late. And then things come to his mind. Oh, the Hajjah is not first. Fajr is first. So then he stops praying the Hajjah prayers. And then the next step is, then he stops reading the Quran. He says, okay, at least I'm doing my five times prayers, right? And the next step is, he stops doing the Tasbihat. And then he stops doing Fajr prayers. And it does not happen that one day he does, he stops the Hajjud, the next day he stops Mahmudat, he stops doing Quran, he stops doing this, and the third day he stops the No, it is a process. Maybe it can take about a year. Maybe it can take about two years. So it's a slow process. It's a fight between a man and shaitan. And a man and his own nafs. So it is a fight that goes on. But eventually, when he turns away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he reaches a point where he is not praying a single salat. And then when he thinks that, okay, there was a time I used to pray the hajj. And now I am at a time when I don't pray anything. So Allah ta'ala <coughs> turns the servant from him. There's two ways. One is instantaneous. And the other one is the most common way that it happens gradually. And what is the psyche of the man that he says, okay, today I didn't pray the Hajj. This it's not a problem. But then this today turns into many days, and then you know, all these different things happen, and he's turned away from Allah. And this Tahajjud prayer, the Prophet has said that this Tahajjud is lazim on you. It is forced on you. You should pray this tahajjud prayers because it is the sign of the salihin. It is the sign of the pious people before you. In the same way, a man decides that, okay, now I want to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm never ever going to talk to any namaharam, any woman unnecessarily. So he doesn't talk to women unnecessarily. So it doesn't happen that, okay, now he doesn't talk to women unnecessarily, he starts flirting with them the next day. No. It happens very, very gradually. He says, okay, now I have to talk because this is business. I have to talk because this is my classmate. I have to talk because she's my colleague in my office. I have to talk because it is very necessary right now. So first, you do, don't do it out of fun. You do it out of necessity. It's a step-by-step -step gradual process. And then this necessity is extended. And then that enters into more and then you end up, you know, and this man ends up flirting. And then even further on, he ends up doing things that are completely prohibited in Islam. So it's a step-by-step -step process. And his man Allah says, should recite the dua, Rabbana la tuzikulubana. Oh Allah, don't turn our hearts away. Ba'da is hadaytana after this heart has attained guidance.